dry film thickness is an integral part of quality control or inspection of protective coating application. The measurement is viewed as the most trusted determinant factor when checking how durable a coating system is. Thus, even the simplest protective coating specification requires a DFT measurement of each coating layer in the system, and ultimately the entire DFT of the system. Without the knowledge of the updated industry procedures or standards, the coating inspectors will be unable to carry out a proper DFT measurement, or the number of measurements to be taken to achieve an adequate inspection. To achieve an adequate DFT measurement, three key standards must be followed. They include the SSPC-PA2, the ASTM-D1186, and the ISO-19840. The first, that is, the SSPC-PA2, remains the most widely used, perhaps due to the revealing nature of the video. The video offers simple directions on how to use a constant pressure probe type 2 gauge to determine the dry film thickness. Elcometer 456 gauge comes with a digital colored screen with soft keys designed to perform multiple functions. Pressing the on-off key for a split second will switch on the gauge, while you will have to press and hold the same key until the screen goes blank to off the gauge. Calibration adjustment involves configuring the gauge to your desired thickness values. It is best to calibrate the gauge on site before taking the gauge reading of the coated surface. Anything contrary to this may affect the accuracy of the results. Calibration is done by choosing the proper plastic shim with the above target DFT value, alongside an uncoated base or zero plate. To calibrate the gauge, press the Cal Soft key present on the gauge, locate the Calibrate option on the screen, and choose the same. You will now be presented with simple on-screen instructions that you can follow to calibrate the gauge successfully. The gauge will ask the user to place the probe onto the shim. To do this, keep the shim on the zero plate or uncoated base, hold the gauge probe like a pen, and place down the probe evenly with a 90 degree angle on the shim. Then take the gauge reading on the screen and ensure that it corresponds with the shim thickness. In the case where the readings are different, simply adjust the gauge reading value by using the soft keys. But if they correspond, just press the set soft key. The gauge will also ask the user to place the probe onto the uncoated base. To do this, place the gauge probe on the uncoated base or zero plate. This confirms the zero reading of the gauge. If the reading is not at zero, you can set it as such by pressing the zero soft key. You can now proceed to take a couple of test readings of the used shim over the uncoated base or zero plate. These initial readings are necessary to check the accuracy of the gauge calibration. After this, the calibration of the gauge is completed, and you can measure the DFT of a coating. The project coating specification will determine the dry film thickness value of a coating system to be measured. That is both the minimum and maximum coating thickness value. However, if a coating specification specifies a single DFT value, then the specified thickness would be considered as the minimum. If a 10 square meter area of dry film thickness is to be measured, the inspector is expected to select 5 random spots and measure the same. Each chosen spot must consist 3 gauge readings that do not exceed the 1.5 inch diameter circle. For instance, a coating specification may demand that the inspector to confirm the conformance of a coating thickness between 225 and 240 micrometers. In such instance, the 5 spot measurements of a 10 square meter area must have an average that is not less than the specified minimum thickness. Likewise, every spot measurement in all the 10 square meter area must not be less than 80% of the specified minimum thickness. A gauge reading of a spot that underruns by a significant amount would be accepted. However, the average of the 3 gauge readings of the same spot must meet or exceed the 80% of the specified minimum thickness. Also, the determined average of the 5 spot measurements must not exceed the specified maximum thickness. Any single spot measurement in a 10 square meter area that is more than 120% of the specified maximum thickness is unacceptable. A gauge reading of a spot that overruns by a significant amount is acceptable. However, the average of the 3 gauge readings of the same spot must not be more than 120% of the specified maximum thickness. In instances of low or high spot measurements, that is, below 80% or above 120% of the specified minimum or maximum coating thickness respectively, 
the coating inspector must make additional measurements to define the non-conforming area. The inspector must also mark all the defined non-conforming areas for correcting the thickness in line with the manufacturer recommendations or the coating specifications. If you have found this video helpful, please like and share it. And for latest videos notices, click the subscribe button to subscribe to the IOKS International YouTube channel. Likewise, you can visit our website www.iogs.org for more information about an online or classroom training program offered by the Institute for Oil and Gas Sector, IOGS.